Welcome back to Canvas Tutorials with Evan. Today we're going to look at how can we change our dashboard image for our course to make it stand out a little bit more, uh, help our students to um, identify our course easily as they're as they're getting into each of their courses, and really just to to, to make it a better overall experience. So let's get started. Um, notice here that I've just clicked on dashboard and that shows me all my published courses as well as any unpublished courses for me. Uh, for the student view, they would see whichever courses that they are a part of. Now notice that uh, one of the, the nice things about dashboard is that you're able to reorder uh, the, these and that's for you. The students can do it as well. Um, but multiple of my courses have this nice image on the background that then has a color overlay and you notice that the color corresponds with each of the um, the link colors here it basically becomes the main color for that course um, but the sandbox course that I've created does not have that so how do I go about changing that course image well if I were to click on here uh, it shows the color so I can change the color overlay easily but it doesn't actually give me the the image option in order to get to the change the image i'm going to need to go ahead and click into the course and then i'm going to come down here to settings click that and then i'm going to make sure that i'm in the course details tab of the navigation and that takes us right here this is where we want to get to and we're going to just go ahead and click on choose image here now there are two different options here um, one is that I can either drag and drop an image uh, from my computer or I can actually go over here to Unsplash and Unsplash is a great service because it's it's um, uh, images that are in the public domain and allow you to use it just for fun. Since my course is called Sandbox, I'm going to look for a sandbox. There's nothing there. Let's try sand. There is some sand. So uh, let's say I, I'm just going to choose this image. And I'm going to hit come down here all the way to the bottom and hit update course details without doing that. Nothing saves. And now that's my course image. So when I come out here to dashboard, you can see that that is now my course image. Now you can see for my, my science courses, I've chosen a different fun, uh, image. And the reason why, even though the students, the sixth graders are going to see this image, but they're not going to see the seventh and eighth. But I went ahead and chose different ones just because that helps me easily to identify them as well. Um, and again, if I wanted to change the um, the color here, I can do that. And notice that not every color is available. Okay. Um, so down here, I have a yellow overlay and there is no yellow option. Well, the way I did that is that, oh, go back out, sorry is that I actually found the hex code uh, for that color and I pasted it in there. And to do that, let's say, let's say I just want, uh, I don't know, a, 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 an orange hex color. And here it gives me all kinds of options in uh, different kind of colors. I can go to this first website and I can change it here uh, have different options um, but there's my there's my color code I'm going to copy that go back to my dashboard and all I did there was uh, highlight it in command C or uh, on a Mac or control C on a PC and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say I want this course to be orange and now it has an orange overlay and notice that it, again it changes by that now that's by using the unsplash uh, but that's not the only way that I can get an image. Maybe I have uh, an image that I've designed or an image that I've gotten off of the internet. And so I'm going to go ahead and come back here to settings. Uh, again, I'm going to click on this menu item to choose a new image and I'm going to upload an image instead. And so I've come over here to, I'm just going to come to images.google.com and I'm just going to look for sandbox. Now, I don't want to just use any image on here because some of these might be uh, copy protected. And so I'm going to click on settings and search settings. And this isn't where I wanted to go. I'm going to go to tools. There we go. And I'm going to go to usage rights. And this allows me to choose uh, which 
of these, uh, w w which license I want to use. And so some allow me to use it with modification and I'll let you look through that. Uh, I'll, I'm just going to go ahead and say, uh, Label for non-commercial reuse. That means any image on here, as long as I'm not selling something, I'm allowed to use it. And I don't know, I kind of like this one. Oh, I like this one. And so I'm just going to open that up, right click on the image, copy image, and, or say I, I could save it there um, because I can't paste it. Uh, but here's a kind of a cool thing is I'm going to click it. And you notice how I have it here uh, and it's dragging around. Now, if I go back into that other tab, it allows me to drag it right in. Oh, file must be an image. Okay. Well, I thought I could do that. Forgive me. So I'm going to go ahead and have to save this. Save image as. Save it to my, my computer. And I'll just put it right here in the Canvas Tutorials uh, sandbox. There we go. And now I'm going to have to go find it on my computer. And now I'm dragging it. There we go. Um, and so, or I could have come in here and double clicked on this and it would pull up my, my menu and I can go find it. Canvas tutorials, find that image. And there you go. So either, either dragging it from your desktop and putting it on there, but either way, if I don't update course settings, it's not going to be visible. Go back out to my dashboard and there's my image. And I'm going to move this to the end because I can do that. So, uh, once again, what we've learned to do today is how do we change the dashboard image for our course to make it stand out a little bit more for the students, as well as how to change the overlay color and reorder the dashboard items, uh, so that, uh, I can see it. And I hope this content has been helpful and you have a great day.